Hi! Oh man. Oh, I'm so. My name is Des, and. My name is Des, and I said I was going to make this video like three months ago on my Instagram, and I'm just now making it. So. I don't have an explanation. Well, mm, I have an explanation, but it's not like an excuse, but like it's okay. <laughs> Um, basically I started going to college, your girl's a college student, but it's online college, so it's college, but it's like, I'm still like, being safe, staying inside the house, you know, but I was trying to get my groove with that, and then every single time I felt like filming, either it was too dark, or I got a headache, or <laughs> I, you know, just didn't have time so that's why it takes me so long to film this video but I don't film videos unless I a feel like the lighting is gonna be good enough or B feel like it so, so that's why this video is literally three months late um but I asked on my Instagram if you guys wanted to see it and I got an overwhelming yes so follow me on Instagram if you want to answer more questions about the type of videos I make. Anyway, um, so this, I didn't even tell you what the video is. I mean you read the title, but in case you didn't read the title, this is a makeup collection video. I'm going to be showing you all of the makeup related, including tools and stuff, all the makeup things that I have. I obviously don't have a lot because, I, you know, I'm not getting like no one's sending me free stuff and I bought all of these things um yeah I I just want to say that I'm not sponsored freaking wish I was if you think that I'm sponsored I mean I don't I'm a very small channel right now like I don't know why you would think that I'm sponsored but I'm definitely not I'm going to be telling you like my opinion on all these things I will say that my opinion on most of these things is good because I kept it the things that I didn't like I returned so expect good things but I do have some little tidbits to throw in so this is going to be a long video I'm going to try to make it short mm, nah I I know good and well I'm not going to make this video short but I hope I film all of it before my camera dies so let's get started um the first thing is this sponge now this is dirty because I just got finished using it on my face and it's also still damp from me using it um I keep my sponge in this like little Tupperware like cup thing it has a lid I don't normally keep the lid on because you're not supposed to like keep your sponges in really like you're supposed to keep your sponge in like a really dry place so like air can get to it so like mold won't grow um so I keep it in here but I keep it in here with a lid open and also when the sponge is dry the lid will fit on it it's just wet right now um this is a Morphe sponge I don't know if I said that um I mean it works I have not tried other sponges, so maybe like there's other sponges that are like amazing and 10 times better than this one. But I like this one. It works through the well. It doesn't sheer out my concealer when I blend it, so I like it. Because I'm going to be boring and start with all the makeup applicators before I get to the makeup. Um, I keep my brushes in this little brush case that I bought from Depop. It's originally from BH Cosmetics. I mean, there. I mean, I put the sticker on it. It didn't come with a sticker, but I just needed a place, like a cup place to keep my brushes. So um, a couple of these brushes are duplicates. Also, if you're wondering, this is a spoon. Um, I use this spoon to mix um, cream makeup that I'm going to show you guys later on um, because I don't have like one of those palette spatulas but it, it's a spoon but like it's fine like I mean I'm not gonna eat with it it's it's fine so anyway um this is the Morphe M438 this 
is I think supposed to be like a contour brush. I use this, I use this as an all over like face powder brush um, because fun fact about me, I don't wear concealer, I mean, I said that wrong. I don't wear foundation, I only wear concealer and then I set my uh, uh, concealer and powder my whole face because I don't feel like I want or need like super like a foundation all over my whole face. I just like um, putting powder over my whole face just to like mattify everything so everything is the same finish. Um, so I use this to put powder all over my whole face and to wipe away um, the like, I wouldn't call it bake, but I do use my sponge, my damp sponge to press the powder into wherever I put my concealer and I do use this brush to like wipe away the excess. I like it. Um, I have a pretty small face and especially a very small forehead and I feel like this brush is really good at like getting my forehead without getting too far into my hairline. Um, so yeah, I like this brush. Um, this is an eyebrow brush. It's from NYX. It is great. It works well. It makes my eyebrows look great. Moving on. This is the Morphe M505 brush. I use this sometimes as an eyeshadow brush and sometimes as a nose highlight brush. Um, also some of these brushes are drying because I just, I obviously just did my makeup, but I cleaned them all because I wanted all my brushes to be clean. Um, but I didn't clean my sponge because I'm, don't question me, okay? Anyway, this is, I mean, it's a good brush, fluffy brush. There's only so much I can say. Most of these brushes assume they're good until I get to the last brush because the last brush I have a rant for, okay? This is the Morphe M124. I use it as a inner corner highlight brush. This is a Morphe M167 brush. I use this to put my lid shade on. I have two of these and two of these and my normal everyday go-to eyeshadow brush is the M330. I love this brush. Um, I have two of these and then I use this brush. This is a really small fluffy brush um, for whenever I put shadow under my eyes or if I have like a really complex look and I want the shadows to be more like precise in placement. Um, this is a, a Morphe M07. I don't know if I said that before but whatever. This brush, um, I literally, I use this brush for when, when I get mascara, like, on my eyelids, I use this brush to, like, scrape it off, because it's a really, like, harsh, like, the bristle, bristles, the bristles of this brush are, like, kind of hard, um, and, like, scrapey, so if you want, like, a nice, soft, fluffy brush, I wouldn't recommend this one, but it's good for scraping off, uh, mascara flex after they dry. And uh, it doesn't like disrupt the eyeshadow too much. Um, this is a Morphe M431. Now, to the last brush. Yo, this is the Morphe M532 brush. And all of my other brushes that I have that are from Morphe, which is basically all of them. Oh, wait, this isn't the last brush. Hold on. This is the second to last brush. This is, you can probably barely even see it, this is an e.l.f. Precision eyeliner brush. Um, I like it. Uh, it works great. Back to this brush. This is like their ultimate highlighter brush. Every brush from Morphe that I have is like great. It's like wow, it's so fluffy and like except for this one, but most of them are like fluffy and they work and everything's fine and dandy. This one, literally, I have no idea what happened with this brush that like. You know, but this one is like, I use it because, I mean, I bought it and I, you know, I can't really return it during these times. Um, but also I think it's probably too late to return it. But anyway, this brush sheds like nobody's business. Every time I have washed this brush, at least two hairs fall out of it. Why? Morphe, what happened? How come all your other brushes are doing great and this one is just like giving up on its life? Like, why does it do this? It's so annoying. I sometimes get, like, brush hairs on my face only from this brush. Literally no other brush does this to me except for this one. Yeah. 
So I wouldn't recommend this brush. I don't know if it's just this specific brush or if it was just like this specific batch of brushes. Well, of brushes were like, you know, trash. But, you know, I say trash, but I'm not throwing this away. I'm going to use it until all the hairs fall out. But I know all the hairs will fall, fall out eventually and I have to buy another freaking brush. Anyway, that's my rant. Thank you. I'm going to go to this bag. Um... This is where I keep most of my makeup. Um, I keep all my makeup except for my palettes in here. Um, so this is a stipple sponge. I use these for my fake freckles. Mikey from Glam and Gore taught me that like that's an easy way to do freckles and I like it. I think it's cute. These are baby wipes cut in half. I use baby wipes. Um, this may be weird, but I'm just a cheapo. Um, but instead of using concealer to clean up my eyebrows, I just get a baby wipe and clean up my eyebrows because I do my eyebrows first, so there's nothing on my face. Um, so I use baby wipes to clean up my eyebrows. I also like to, like if I'm using a bunch of eyeshadow colors um, and I don't want to mix the shadows, I will like rub my brush on like one of these like baby wipe halves to kind of get like most of the pigment off so that I won't like contaminate my other eyeshadows so and it's cheap so like yeah these are witch hazel cotton pads I use these to remove makeup I actually use two things to remove my makeup this is my second step in my makeup removing process um because my first step doesn't always get everything off and also my first step is like kind of like I hate the feeling but and if you're wondering, my first step is the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes. They, these are the fragrance-free ones, I think. Actually, no, they're not. I lied. These are not the fragrance-free ones. I actually... Yeah, I lied. These are not fragrance-free. Um, these remove makeup pretty well, but not all of the makeup. Um, maybe because I refuse to use two wipes. I, like, I literally will only use one wipe per every time I feel like my whole face and like maybe that's why um but I feel like one wipe should work anyway even if it gets all the makeup off like there's still like a like a weird like oily feeling that I really do not like so I use the witch hazel cotton pads afterwards to make sure that the makeup is gone and to get rid of like that weird oily feeling and then the third step is putting on moisturizer which isn't in here because this is not about skincare anyway this is a brush cleaner from Ulta um, I like it. It works. It's a strong smell though. Like you spray this and you're like, strong smell. Um, doesn't bother me. If that bothers you, wouldn't recommend. But I got four bottles of these for like $15. So, yes. Anyway, moving on. This is, I love this powder. This powder is everything to me. Um, this powder is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Setting Powder in the shade Hazelnut. I love this stuff. First of all, it smells delicious. Second of all, um, it makes your face matte, but it does it, it still leaves like a natural radiance to the skin. Like I feel like it's like a natural matte. So you don't look like dry, you just look matte. Anyway, I love this stuff. Um, it has very sheer coverage, but I really do like to put it over my whole face, like I said earlier. And, um, it's expensive, but there's so much product in here. Like, I have had this for probably, like, a year. And maybe, like, I don't wear makeup every day. And maybe that's why, like, I still have so much product left. And also because I don't believe powder makeup expires. So I'm going to use that until there is no more left. Um, I don't care how long it takes. Anyway, this is the e.l.f. Um, makeup mist and set. Like, uh, I think it's, like, the illuminating one um this is like the illuminating one with like vitamin b and like aloe or whatever um i like it it's great it was cheap it was like five dollars per bottle and um great next this is my concealer this is also everything to me this concealer is perfect for me it is full coverage so it covers up my dark circles and like if I have breakouts or like if I want to cover up my scar or something it does cover it up however because I don't wear foundation 
Um, it was very important to me that I had a concealer that I can blend into my bare skin and it would still look like regular and it wouldn't look like different. This is in the shade Mocha and this is literally my skin color in a bottle. It is so good but it also once again is like a natural matte finish so you don't look dry you just look matte which is great. Um, when I put this on my face it just looks like my skin you know it just looks like wow she has amazing skin rather than wow she has a full face of makeup on you know anyway I like it. Also this stuff smells so good sometimes I just sniff it. Um, yeah also this is kind of expensive because I know um, this is expensive in my opinion it's just, it's like I splurged for this this one is seems like a splurge but when you take into consideration like how much product you get because you get a lot of product um, it's actually like reasonable anyway this is the uh, Maybelline Great Lash Mascara and Clear I used to use this as a brow gel but um, I never I mean it's like okay as a brow gel um now I use it now I use it kind of as like a mascara primer simply so I can just use up everything in this tube and I don't plan to rebuy this because I have another um eyebrow gel that is like better than this one so just you wait it's this one okay this is the NYX Cosmetics Control Freak brow gel and this stuff girl if you want a clear brow gel that will keep your air, your eyebrow hairs like exactly where you put them, like they will not move, this. This stuff is like, like, I don't have eyebrow pomade on my finger, which is part of the eyebrow pomade, but like my hairs are like, I'm like tapping, like my hairs probably didn't even move. Like. I have tested this, I have put this on my eyebrows and let it dry and then like vigorously rub my eyebrows just to see because if you, cause if I did the same with this as an eyebrow gel, my eyebrow hairs like would move and I would have to fix them back. This one, like I had to like rub like hard to get my eyebrow hairs to like actually look messed up. This stuff, mwah, this is my new holy grail. Next up, this is the Maybelline uh, Lash Stiletto or Stiletto. Stiletto Lash, st whatever, waterproof mascara. Um, I like it. I um, it's pretty lengthening, which is why I like it. I um, the mascara I had before this was like really volumizing, but not lengthening. I like it. Um, I still haven't found like the mascara that I'm like super like yes, I love this about. But like I like this one. However, I do put like two to three coats per like eye on this one to get my eyelashes to look how I want them to look however I do not wear false lashes because they scare me um so maybe that's why like I want a dramatic lash without uh, false eyelashes and maybe that's why I put so much on next thing this is the morphe eyelid primer in translucent um first of all I just want to mention it's actually not translucent it's like a nude but not like nude for me but like nude for white people color but it does like the color does blend out on your eye and then when you put eyeshadow on top it obviously you can't see you can't see it I like this I um I like this primer I only use this primer when I'm going out like in public places and I want my eyeshadow to stay on my eyes um so I haven't used it in a while but I like it so yeah oh this is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. <laughs> this is the Sephora liquid lipstick in number 41. I believe the shade name is Vintage Rosewood. It's like a nudie pink. Um, I like it. It doesn't like it transfers but even though it may transfer in like a straw or like a napkin or something it still looks like it doesn't and that's like the same for all of the Sephora formulas. Um, this is number 94 I believe the shade name for this one is like cherry moon or something this one I do not put this on my lips I actually use this color for my fake freckles because I don't know it's like the perfect brown for my skin tone so if you're in shade mocha and Too Faced um, cosmetics or if you're shade 385 in Fenty um, cosmetics this is a great like 
faux freckle formula, especially because I wanted something that actually dried down, um, rather than like getting like a darker concealer or a cream concealer or bronzer to use like freckles for. Like I this like actually dries down and I feel like it stays a lot better. Um, this is number 53 and I could not tell you the name of this one. Um, oh, this is the NYX Glitter Goals uh, Liquid Eyeliner. Um, it's a glitter liner in shade Zodiac Queen. Um, I haven't worn it on my eyes yet because I bought it online during the quarantine times. However, I did swatch it on my hand and it's really pretty and really glittery. So if you wanted a more metallic eyeliner instead of glitter eyeliner, I wouldn't recommend this. <laughs> um, I don't know if you saw what I just pulled out of here and I actually meant to take it out of my bag before I did this video but I forgot because I know like I do not want my name associated with this person or brand in any way shape or form um, so this is a blue liquid lipstick if you saw the top then you know what I'm talking about but like I am genuinely embarrassed that I ever once like believed that that, that that the person that owns this makeup brand was like a nice person like I can't believe I like believed that they, they weren't awful like and maybe I'm gonna get like hate for like saying that but like they are like they are the textbook definition of a freaking Disney villain like they are they are literally like Ursula or Jafar like that's how they live their lives and I'm really not down with that um, so if you saw the top, then you know who I'm talking about, but I do not want to, like, I don't support that person literally at all. And if we're being honest, and like, maybe I'm going to put in like the comments, like who I'm talking about, you know, but if we're being honest, that freaking lipstick wasn't even that good. Okay. People have been like, this formula is so bomb. Maybe it's just that color, maybe it was just the blue, but like, it is actually really not that bomb. I was lied to anyway, well, this person is a liar, so why am I surprised? But, um, it's tricky when I put it on, so I have to like, put on a layer, and then like, wait for it to dry, and then put on a second layer, because it's tricky. And like, the Sephora lipsticks, which are cheaper than that one, don't do that, so... Also, it like... Sometimes, like, if you layered too many layers on top of itself, it would start to, like, peel. Freaking camera just turned. Stop recording. How rude. Um, so yeah, I actually don't like the formula of the lipstick anyway. I kept it because I spent money on it, and I'm still going to wear it for, like, my makeup looks on Instagram, but I really don't plan to, like, wear it out at all because I, like, it just doesn't work well when I do that. So, yeah. Next up, this is the Sephora liquid lipstick in number 28. Sorry, it's hard to read because like the letters, the number is black and it's black. Um, this is in shade Night Owl. I like it. Um, I don't plan, I don't think I'll repurchase it though because there are cheaper black liquid lipsticks that probably work the same that I'm willing to try, but I like it. Also. This is weird. My other Sephora liquid lipsticks didn't do this, but like this one, sometimes like the handle like comes off like, you know, like it's not like sometimes it's just like this handle part and then it wouldn't be like the wand. I don't know, but that only happens sometimes. It's just weird. Anyway, next. Okay. This is the Morphe concealer, um, in shade C415. Um, this is not my shade. And, and I don't like it. Um, it smells amazing. I sniff this also, but this is just not the concealer for me because I was looking for a concealer that was like actually my perfect match. Um, you know, I bought this and I've got, and I bought like the setting powder, but I think I ended up giving my mom the setting powder, um, because the setting powder was too dark for me. This concealer is too light for me. Um, this was recommended because like in the store when they were layered on top of each other it looked like my skin but then in any other lighting it looked so weird and so off um however by the time I just decided that I cannot make this work it was too late to return it so now I use this as an eyeshadow brace when I'm not leaving the house so if I'm doing my makeup just to like 
do my makeup or just feel good or if I'm doing my makeup for like my Instagram page um, then I use this because I don't want to waste my good eyelid primer that Morphe has. Yeah, so Morphe doesn't have a shade for me. So y'all want to get on that Morphe because y'all were supposed to be inclusive on it. Um, oh, this is a MAC lip glass lip gloss mini in girl I don't I could not tell you what color this is I'm sorry um my mom gave this to me because she wasn't really using it um it's just a like it's a brown glittery lip gloss I wear it sometimes it smells really good and that's the weird thing it doesn't smell like it's scented it smells like my childhood like something about this lip gloss smells like other lip glosses that I used to have when I was like five um, so it's like kind of nostalgic. Also, my mom loves MAC makeup and wears MAC all the time, so it's also just like, I don't know. It just is like my kid dreams, like, in a lip gloss. Next is this, um, it's all wiped off now, but this is the ColourPop, um, lip, ultra glossy lip gloss in the shade Puppies, they did a collaboration with Disney and this is like the Disney Villains one. So this is the Disney Villain one for, um, what's her, uh, Corella DeVille. Um, it's basically a clear gloss with a bunch of gold, like, micro glitters in it. It's beautiful, it's great. This is my go-to gloss, this is my go-to gloss. It sucks that we have to wear masks when we go outside because... I love lip gloss and like what's the point of wearing it anyway but it's pretty and I like it it smells like really strong of like cake um which is a little bit overwhelming it's just like a little bit too much but after you like put it on and then start to wear it like the smell kind of goes away so I like it um oh this is the L'Oreal chromatic bronze lip topper in uh, Cosmo Girl. It's basically, it looks like really bright, but it's basically a clear, um, well, I wouldn't say clear. It's a very sheer um, lip gloss, and when you actually put it on, it just looks like pink micro glitters on your lips. Like, it doesn't look really bright. Um, once again, I like it. It's pretty. <laughs> this is the Sephora liquid lipstick in number... 64. Um, I don't really like this one only because I'm, I've am i learned after I got this that I don't really like metallic liquid lips, liquid lipsticks. Like if I want my lips to be sparkly, I'm gonna wear a gloss instead of a metallic lip. But this, oops, but this does scream like Christmassy to me. Like I feel like if it's Christmas time, then it's like, wow, Christmas. Um, but then any other time it's like, why would I wear this when I could? wear this. This is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Wolfie. It is a red sparkle. It's it's like a red red tint with red sparkles in it. Um, I prefer this over this, but I like this for Christmas. One eternity later. Hi. Again. Um, my camera died, so, um, I took a little break, ate some lunch, you know, and now we're back. Um, let's hopefully finish this video without any more technical difficulties. Also, if the lighting is different, I'm sorry. Um, I've been waiting around for my camera to charge, and also, it's raining outside. So, like, if it's, like, dark, like, I mean, I'm sorry, but, um, let's continue. Um, the last thing... I was literally right on the last thing that was in this blue bag, um, is my eyebrow pomade. This, um, I used to be a pencil person, but then I used, uh, three different pencils and I realized with the way, like, this is not working out, I don't want to have to buy a $10, um, pencil every, like, four, three or four months because I'm using them up so fast. Um, so I decided that I was gonna get a brow pomade because I feel like they have a lot more product. And so I ended up getting the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade in Deep Brown. I love this stuff. Um, I am a full pomade 
fan now. Like, this is, has so much product in it. And, like, well, I don't know why I did this. Like, you could see how much I use. But this has so much product in it. And I've had it for a while. And um, it hasn't dried out. I don't think it's going to dry out, honestly. And also, I put it on my eyebrows. And, like, it stays really well on my eyebrows. Um, so, yeah, I really, really like it. Um, the Maybelline, this actually comes with like a mini eyebrow, um, brush, um, so if you don't have an eyebrow brush, like, it actually comes with the product. However, um, I ended up getting a full-size eyebrow brush only because, um, I use the brush, the disposable brush that comes with this. I use this when I'm plucking and shaping my eyebrows, um, like my eyebrow hairs, not like doing my eyebrows so I have the full size eyebrow brush for filling in my eyebrows and then I have the mini eyebrow brush for um shaping my eyebrows like when I'm tweezing them um because I don't want to have to like clean my eyebrow brush every single time I want to like pluck my eyebrows and like I know I should <sighs> whatever finally to the palettes. That's probably what you were like actually interested in. Um, I'm gonna start with the most boring palette because um, it's not a palette, it's just a compact. Um, this is the Morphe Highlighter in shade Meteor. It is a, um, mine's like super dirty and hopefully it's so far away that you can't see that it's dirty. But it's like a really, like it's a deep gold. Um, Surprisingly, it's actually not too dark for me, um, but I have seen it on like darker skin tones and it like literally looks good. So if you have like, I would say tan, medium to dark, this would work if you want a gold. Um, it's pretty. I like it. This compact comes with a mirror, but I never use the mirror. Um, and yeah it's actually um, I'm wearing it on my face right now I don't know if you can see my golden glow next let's do what's on my eyes also um, this is the Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions um, like palette these are like one of like the mini palettes um, I'm not going to lie this palette is expensive in my opinion you get nine like small shadows for $25 um, and the shadows are pretty um, I don't think the quality of Huda um, Beauty um, like shadows like I don't think they're significantly different than the Morphe um, eyeshadow formula like it's pretty similar um, I will say that I bought this at the beginning of quarantine like during March um, when I believed that things would go back to normal at around May. Um, I was very wrong. I bought this because um, my prom was going to be in May and I already had a dress for the prom. Um, it was like, it's a, I'm too lazy to go get the dress. But anyway, the dress was blue, sparkle. It, it, it was kind of like a duochrome blue to black sparkle. Uh, gown and it was really pretty and I wanted to do a um, I and I what and I wanted to find a like royal blue metallic that I can put on the lid um, because I plan to do my own makeup for prom because it's cheaper that way and also because for some reason my eyes water like a lot if someone else is like near them you know like when I you know like the few times that I've gotten swatched for a foundation or a concealer, like the people um, in the makeup store, like with the brush, you know, putting it like near my eyes, my eyes get super watery. And I learned that I hate that. Um, so I planned to do my own makeup and I was like in search, I was literally searching for a blue metallic to put on my lid for my prom for months, dude, for months. And the only thing I could find, um, and the only thing that I found was like the Stila, you know, like those Stila like liquid glitters. But it was so expensive for just one glitter. Um, 
you know? And so I tried to find other alternatives. There was this other blue that, that was like in like a tart palette, but I didn't want the whole palette because it was a lot of color that I already had. It was a lot. Um, but I ended up, um, and then I tried, um, cause while I was searching, this was also, um, Elf Cosmetics came out with their version of like liquid glitter eyeshadows. Um, and so I got the blue one, which is called Ocean Eyes. And I don't have it right now because I did not like it. Like I didn't like the formula. It wasn't like full coverage. Like it was like a topper instead of like an eyeshadow. And I felt like it was too glittery and not metallic enough. It just wasn't for me. So um, I decided to get the Huda Beauty Huda Beauty um, one because this blue because this blue right here was like the perfect metallic blue that I wanted and unfortunately I couldn't even wear it to prom. Um, and obviously I can't return it because it's too long. Um, but also because I like this palette because it had the blue that I specifically was looking for but it also had a bunch of colors that I just didn't have. Um, and so I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna bite the bullet, just gonna splurge real quick, buy this um, $25 shadow um, palette, you know, I probably would never repersage it, re it, but like it's for my prom and prom is like once in a lifetime because I've actually never been to prom um, because, you know, this is like a whole thing, but that's sad on that, but obviously it's pretty, like it's on my eyes and I like it, like I'm wearing it on my eyes and I'm not going to get rid of it, so yeah, let's move to this palette. Um, this palette is not sold anymore, um, but this is the ColourPop X Bretman Rock Lit Palette. Um, and I'm gonna be honest, I do not like the formula of these eyeshadows. I think, also, I mean, it's messy and dirty, but whatever. The mattes in this palette, like, I feel like you have to layer them quite a bit to actually get you know, like, a lot of pigment. I mean, there's pigment, but I feel like I have to build them up a lot, um, especially in this yellow, which maybe it's just the color yellow, because it's the same for the Huda Beauty, the yellow in this one. Well, it's not really yellow. This one, the one in this one is like a greeny, like a neon green almost, yellowy, but this is like a warm, like, true yellow. And both yellows and both palettes, which are at, like, very different like prices like this one was 25 for nine shadows and this one was I don't know I think it was maybe like 10 or 12 or something less than $15 for eight shadows and the yellows perform the exact same I feel like I have to dig my brush in the yellows and like layer it over and over and over and over and over again just to get like at least a little bit of the pigment that I want which is kind of unfortunate, but um, but it happens with both of the yellows, so maybe it's really just like yellow is a really difficult like color to make pigmented. Um, the reds are pretty, but once again, I feel like I have to layer them. Um, I don't like this color that's called like or whatever. Um, it's just not for me. Um, the way my skin is, you know, is you know with its melanin, it's like I'm not gonna use it. Um, However, the metallics, because I feel like this shade batting is, I wouldn't classify this as a metallic, I would classify this as a shimmer. It's a pretty shimmer, but it's not a metallic. However, the shade Mercy and She Got Money, metallics, beautiful, all of, which I learned, it must be easier to make metallic shadows than it is to make matte shadows because I, like, every metallic shadow that I have is, like, super pretty. Um, even the shimmer is pretty, it's just like not as crazy, like shiny as I would like it to be. Um, so I like this palette, I'm obviously going to use it until it's expired or until it's, you know, gone um, or used up, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't repurchase it even if it was still available now. Um, no tea, no shade to Bretman, um, I'm sure he's nice. I'm sure his content is good. I don't know. I don't really watch him. Um, 
because this content just isn't for me. I really got this because I, um, this was like one of the first palettes that I like ever got. Um, so this is technically the second palette I've ever bought. Um, and I wanted it because I just wanted some red shades. When I was first starting makeup, I didn't think that I was going to want like or do really super colorful looks. Um, I just learned, well I wouldn't say learned, I just like over time started to really love and really want to do really bright and colorful looks as I continued doing makeup. But when I first started, I just wanted some browns and some pinks and some reds and I really thought that like that was all I needed and like I wasn't going to want anything else. That was a lie and not true. But so I just wanted a palette that was just reds because all the other palettes that I saw that had reds in them, they were reds and like blues and greens and I really wasn't expecting to like want all that. Let's actually go to this palette. This is um the NYX SFX Cream Color uh, Body Paint Palette in like uh, primary um, which has the primary colors and then a white and then a black and then like a grayish brown right here. Um, I got this because I noticed that I really wanted to do um, like more, I wouldn't say editorial, well maybe editorial um, looks and um, I wanted to uh, get this one specifically because I can mix the different colors to get whatever color that I like want. So that way I can do graphic liner with these um, and I can also like draw stuff on my face because you know on Instagram I've been seeing a lot of really cool like the clouds um, has been like really popular. I've been I've been seeing people draw like just a whole bunch of like little stuff on their face and I think it's cool. Um, so I got this palette so that I could do that as well and also because this palette was quite affordable. The only other palette that was similar to this that I saw when I was looking for like cream color palettes was like I forgot what brand I think it's by Anastasia but I'm not sure um but it's like the one that all the beauty gurus have and um it's like a hundred dollars and I was like yo I do not want to pay a hundred dollars so um yeah that's what this is I have used it on my eyes since um and I mean it did make my eyes fall out. Um, however, I don't really plan to use this for like wearing long term. Like this is more for like Instagram makeup looks and not like out in the world makeup looks. Let's move on to my first ever eyeshadow palette. I made a video with this eyeshadow palette when um, I was trying to do eyeshadow for the first time um, and I still have it. Obviously that was only like a year ago. Um, this is the Morphe Grand Glam palette or the 24G palette. Um, I like it now. I like it. It doesn't sound like I like it, but I do like it. It looks different in person than what it does in the pictures, so that's a little annoying. Um, but I like it. Um, it's a lot of like neutral browns and it has like one bright pink and like a reddish. Um, I use it a lot. I like the shimmers. I use this color um, as a highlighter a lot. Um, yeah, I like it. I also use this as a highlighter, like if I want like a pinky toned highlighter. Um, I like it. This is a very neutral palette and it's it was great for what I thought I was going to be doing makeup wise when I first bought it. Like when I first started I really thought I was just going to be doing neutrals and red looks. Um, now that I know that I have been doing more than that, I honestly wish that I, um, got something more different. Um, there's also a lot of shades of brown that are very, very similar in this palette. Like, this brown is kind of similar to this brown. This brown is just a little bit deeper. Um, these two browns are, like, very similar. Like, very similar. I just feel like there's... You know, kind of duplicates like this shimmer and this shimmer. No, this shimmer and this shimmer are like very similar. This one and this one are fairly similar. Like I feel like I have like a lot of these colors are just like duplicates of each other. Honestly, I feel like they could have just took half the shades out and it would have been like a 
better palette, but I mean, I guess. Um, so yeah, I like it. I wouldn't repurchase it though because I would get a palette with a lot more colors and palettes that don't have uh, colors that look super similar. However, I like them. They blend well. And yeah, my last Okay, I just want to make sure that this is, in fact, the last makeup item. This is the Morphe Such a Gem 39S palette. Now, I got this palette last November. Yeah, I believe it was not last November. Um, and this is their purples and pinks um, palette. Um, I like it once again. Um, I got this, the thing is I, I literally in the store, like I was in the physical Morphe store and I was looking at like b both of these palettes because they were like, hmm. I was looking at, I was actually originally looking at the James Charles palette because I like Shashar, um, but even if I didn't like, like James, I still think it was a really colorful palette um but I ended up getting this one because once again I I didn't think I was like good enough for like at like all the colors that was in the palette like I was like wow like, these are you know there's like this is like really a rainbow and I don't know if that's like for me right now um and so I'm happy with this palette I like this palette I think I would repurchase it maybe I think <laughs> um but a part of me does wish I could just got the James Charles palette however um this is pretty I do use it a lot I also really like um the some of the metallics in here however I do have a little bit of notes this lavender shade that's like right here I don't know if it's was just this batch but this one seems to be pressed like really hard um, and I have to like really really dig my brush in this color specifically to get um, like color payoff um, or to get it on my brush but all the other metallics um, in the palette that I have used are like don't have that problem at all so I don't know what happened with this uh, lavender lilac right here um, also this this right here is a pressed glitter I don't really like the idea of glitter. I'm not a glitter person. Like I like metallic over glitter. Even um um and especially this is like a thicker glitter. This is not like micro glitter or really really fine glitter. So this one's not for me. I'm probably never going to use this. Um and you can see, well, I don't know if you actually can see, but there are some shades that I just haven't used because like I said I don't wear makeup every day. Like I only really do my makeup um, sometimes so I probably will get to using all the shades um, in here that's all I have to say uh, even though I do feel like there are some duplicates in this palette only be like I feel like the amount of shimmer like silver metallics or shimmers that are in here is like a lot there's like this these in the middle row are like toppers so like they're supposed to be sheer we have a silver topper and then a silver metallic and then like a little bit of like a darker silver metallic and like what was the reason to put three silvers in this palette ah. like what was the reason you know also this color like these two colors right here like they're okay they're not really for me this one is like a purplish it like is kind of duochrome from like a reddish purple to like a more bluish violet um, and this one is just like it's a dual chrome from like a bluish violet to like a like baby pink um, they're just not for me honestly maybe it's just like not my vibe but whatever you're here to listen to my opinion so yeah um gosh my flipping camera <laughs> so yeah I like this palette also my mom loves this palette like she absolutely adores this palette my mom loves pink 
and likes purple but like my mom's favorite color is pink and like the amount of pinks in this palette like my mom is like ooh. and that my friends is all of my makeup it has been a ride that we have been through and I'm going to put all of this stuff away as I do my outro um thank you for watching if you watch this long but I mean you guys kind of asked for this one like you literally said you wanted to see it and so you can't say you want to see something and then not watch it I'm just you know that doesn't make sense um but yeah so thank you for watching this is honestly probably a really long video but I like long videos um I like watching long, long videos and I guess I like making them too this was actually really fun I don't know I wasn't expecting to enjoy this video as much as I have but like I, I really liked it um even though I need some water because I've been just talking my butt off about all this makeup um I guess just a beauty girl now but um I really hope that this was like interesting to you. I mean, I know other makeup collection videos are like these huge collections and they have like a whole beauty room, but I am kind of like, I'm, I wouldn't consider myself a collector. I'm more of like a minimalist person. Like I try to keep my collection small, only have stuff that I know that I'm going to like want and use. Um, honestly, I, do want to change up some of these products because I wish um, instead of having all like these small palettes I would prefer to have um, like a palette that has blues and reds in it so once again this is why the part of me wishes I just bought the James Charles palette um, and in the future um, when I like really change up all of this stuff like so maybe in like three years I'll make another one of these videos because I assume I'll be done with this palette or this palette would have grown you know you know that's the thing I say it's powder. I don't believe powder makeup expires if this palette starts to grow mold then I'll throw it away or if it's done I'm honestly kind of like a project panner in a way of I really really want to use the makeup that I have I don't want to just buy a whole bunch of makeup and have a whole bunch of duplicate shades just because like I've wanted it so um maybe in like three years i'll hopefully have like just two big palettes that have most of the colors that i want and then just like this and like highlighters um but that's what i have right now i'm generally happy with everything i plan to use up everything um if it kills me and yeah so that's my whole like really small makeup collection in comparison to other people's once again i bought all of this stuff like all this stuff and um and i bought all this stuff from like money and gift cards that were gifted to me um so thank you if you're watching this if you're someone who has like gifted me money for my birthday or for my graduation or i actually i haven't used any of my graduation money on makeup but um or for christmas or something i really do appreciate it because i genuinely love makeup and i've been loving it more 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 and more like the more i do it um so it's really kind of you guys like my family and um uh, my family friends like my mom's friends that I also consider like my friends or kind of like part of my family thank you so much for gifting me this money like honestly most of these things would I wouldn't be able to afford if people didn't give me the money to buy them um so thank you so much to my family um, I really do appreciate it and I don't get PR this isn't sponsored I freaking wish it was Morphe call me Nyx call me Maybelline call me um and I also just want to say that just I am I mentioned this on my Instagram but I also just want to say it here because I feel like transparency is important um and even though I'm like a super small like super super small like youtuber internet person I still want to say this from the beginning of um I do I like I will make sure that if I do start getting PR or if I do start getting sponsored I do say that in the video because I just feel like it's important and you know I would love to be sponsored and if I do get sponsored or if I do get a um sponsor 
um, offer that I am comfortable with accepting because quite frankly I have gotten some offers but they're like sketchy um, so I always say no or they're just like not for me um, so I say no um, so I also just want to say that I only plan to promote things that I actually do like or that I actually genuinely do believe that other people can use and that's worth like the price that they're off you know little that they're selling it for so if I do do a sponsorship just know that I will say hey this is sponsored by this company they paid me to talk about XYZ or they sent me this product to talk about XYZ or even just they sent me this product um just so you can just know um I also just want to say that I'm not making this video because I feel like you have to have more makeup or less makeup or any like you know makeup is fun and rather you have freaking 20 pieces of makeup or 200 pieces of makeup or two pieces of makeup like it's just up to you uh, this is just me showing you this is by no means me trying to be like wow look at what I have like that's not what this is at all I don't want you to feel pressured to like buy any of these things um if you you know if you want to buy those things uh then cool if you have these things cool talk about it in the comments um but yeah I just wanted to mention that so we're clear before I start getting sponsored before I, I get PR if I even get PR um yeah so that's the end of this video please remember to like and subscribe um comment down below makeup things I don't know um follow me on Instagram right I post more times on Instagram that I do here on YouTube so if you want to see more of my beautiful face my Instagram is at the weird Des. um I do fashion I do makeup I sometimes post semi funny things on my stories I also post like important um like social like civic things I probably sound super dumb right now but I post things about Black Lives Matter and um, Hispanic History Month. It's Hispanic History Month right now. Um, so I post things about that. I also post things about sustainability on my story just because I feel like it's important to get it out there. You can also follow me on Twitter. It's also at The Weird Deads. I very rarely tweet though. Um, my Tumblr is also at The Weird Deads, but I have just fallen out of love with Tumblr. It's just boring to me now. So the two main social medias that I do post on are Instagram and this channel. And I barely post on this channel, so Instagram is where I'm at. So yeah, and also if you also um, want to suggest videos to me in the comments or there's times where I ask people for video suggestions or I ask, hey, would you guys want to see this or this? I also post that on my Instagram, so yeah. Although you can't tr really trust when I say I'm going to film something because most of the time I am going to film it. It's just going to happen three months after I said I was going to film it. So yeah, that's all I can think of. That's all I need to say. Goodbye. Wait, 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 wait. Before, actually, I want you to see my makeup up close. <laughs> Um, I'm really proud of myself. It matches my shirt. Hey, how you doing? Well, I'm doing just fine. I lied. I'm dying inside.